Hi everyone, welcome to 30 Days of Yoga with Adrian. I'm Adrian, and it's day 23, and I wanna feel free. So let's hop on the mat and get started. Alrighty, today we're going to begin standing in Samastiti, a um, four-part equal standing position where we draw the feet together and challenge our our balance and really spread awareness through all four corners of this like beautiful bottom of the to totem pole. So we have a video just on Samastiti. It's one of my favorites because it's one of our silent um, videos. So you can check that out if you want to go a little more in depth. But for now, it's about bringing the feet together, really drawing a little attention and awareness to the soles of the feet, and then kind of drawing energy up all the way as we've been doing throughout our practice and bringing the palms together at the heart. You might shift your weight a little front and a little back, maybe even a little side to side just to gather your bearings. And if you are, um, you know, if you are challenged with a little bit of vertigo or you're feeling really off balance here, you might just keep your eyes open. Otherwise, go ahead and close your eyes and wherever you are, be here fully. So wherever, um, you are today, whether you're tired or ready to practice, let's just be with that, be with how you feel as we ease into our practice today with a acceptance and even a forgiving quality. We're here, day 23, it's crazy. So we just take a couple moments here to find our footing, notice how we feel and play with the breath. Notice the quality of air in the room that you're practicing. Again, notice your energy. You might notice the sounds around you. Just kind of heighten the awareness here in four parts equal standing. You might take this moment to set an intention or reconnect to your overall goal, why you did this 30-day practice. Now we'll keep this conversation with the breath going, this awareness spreading, spiraling out throughout the body as we soften the knees and open the hands and just we're gonna just kind of come into a, a soft body warm up here. So starting with the wrists and the fingers and then moving to the elbows, just nice and easy breezy. And then to the shoulders, still have my strong foundation of the feet and the neck. And then I'm gonna bring my hands to my lower back, fingertips pointing up, and I'm gonna inhale, just slowly open my heart up towards the sky, and then exhale, bend the knees, look down, inhale, so we're bringing it into the torso, open up to the sky, exhale, soft knees, look forward, and one more time, opening up, and then releasing down. Awesome, shift your hands to your side just for stability. I'm gonna lift the right heel up and begin to rotate the right ankle one way and then the other. Just warming up nice and slow, changing it up a little bit. Then keep the left hand where it is, take your right hand's hand, <laughs> slide it down, maybe grab your right ankle, and we're just gonna do a little quad stretch here. You can always do um, any of these balancing, standing balancing postures at the wall or hold onto a chair or the back end of your couch. It's not cheating, it's being present accepting. Cool, and then we'll switch and same thing, easy breezy, just rolling through that left foot and then taking it for a little ride, checking in with the left ankle. I'm not collapsing into this right hip, but I'm staying present and aware as I warm up the body today. And then I'll slide my left fingertips down, keep that right hand on the waistline and we just stretch that quad. Stretch the front of that left hip crease, maybe use both hands. So to each his own here, stretching it out. And then we'll release, shake it out. 
And if you're not at the front edge of your mat, which I'm not, we're gonna walk towards the front. And inhale, reach the fingertips nice and high. Take a deep breath in here. Palms clap together today. Jai, the celebratory namaste. And then we send it down through the midline. Hmm, forward fold. Bend the knees generously. Find what feels good here. We'll take a couple breaths to just work out the kinks. Hmm. And after a couple breaths of just working out the kinks and stretching out the back and the legs, relaxing the weight of the head over, we'll find that flat back position by inhaling in and exhaling, releasing back down. Great. Walk the feet together, plant the palms. We're going to come to all fours here, so we'll just step the toes back and then release the knees to the ground. Bring the two big toes together, wide in the knees, as wide as the mat. Bring the right hand to the center, press away, and inhale. Open your left hand up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in here. Options to uh, bind here or bring the left hand to the lower back. We're pressing into the feet, pressing into all um, fingers here, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then I'm bringing it back to center and taking it to the other side. Just opening up the heart and chest here today. Inhale. Finding a little twist. Nice sweeping breaths up and down the spine. Long, beautiful neck. And I take a deep breath in. And exhale back to center. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Walk the palms out. Walk the knees in underneath the hip points. Curl the toes under. And let's explore a little downward facing dog. Tops of the shoulders spiraling out away from the ears, biceps towards the front edge of the mat. Tops of the thighs have the opposite inner spiral, excuse me, opposite spiral. They're spiraling in and out towards the back edge of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Then exhale, lower the knees back down, come to all fours. Awesome. Take a second here to roll out the wrist if you need to. We're gonna do a lot of a little wrist uh, strengthening and, and therapy today. So roll out the wrist here if you need to. Then we're gonna to connect to our core by coming into that hovering cat, pressing into the tops of the feet. Again, find that beautiful external rotation in the shoulders, biceps towards the front edge of your mat. Gaze is straight down as we lift the knees up. You can always skip this, but really connecting lower belly, Lengthening tailbone towards the back edge of your mat. One more breath here. Welcome that heat, that shake. And then exhale, release. That's that prana, that prana moving throughout the body. Okay, walk the knees back, walk the palms forward, and check out this fancy move today. No chaturanga here, just sliding onto the belly. Take a rest here if you need to, finding your breath in and out. Then with the palms underneath the shoulders, I'll pull the elbows back and inhale, lift up to a nice, strong, beautiful baby cobra. Smile, breathe. After a couple breaths, find your release on an exhale. We'll curl the toes under and press up to plank. So you can come to half plank here or we'll come to plank. We're gonna find that sit bone to heel connection really strong here. So that same integrity that you had in the hovering cat, find here in plank. Beautiful, one more breath here. Then we'll slowly lower to the knees or join our friends on the knees. Send the right leg out strong. Then send my right foot all the way up and into a lunge, but this time, hang with me, I'm gonna take my left toes and I'm going to bring them towards the right side of my mat. Then, with front knees stacked, I'm gonna open up into my half warrior. So I pull the pinkies back, I make sure my front knees stacked over the front ankle. Deep breath in here, long breath out. Then I'm gonna inch my toes forward, and then nice and easy, I'm going to tilt, left fingertips come to the mat here, and I'm going to drop my right fingertips down to come up, maybe I spiral coming onto that right foot into a little gait variation here, or I can keep the right heel lifted. So basically I'm just going for a nice, fun, long stretch here, and I'm also challenging myself to not collapse in my shoulders, but keep this extension through the crown of my head. Breathe deep, tuck your pelvis, everyone, breathe deep. So we're giving options today, keeping it nice 
and stacked. Alignment is right, action is right, but you can come up onto that right heel. You can press into the outer edge of that back foot. Breathe. Great, then to come out of the posture, I'm gonna actually bring my right fingertips to the earth and I'm gonna slowly crawl as I turn my right toes back around and I'm just gonna slowly unravel back into my low lunge. Take a breath or two here. Let your heart radiate forward, relax your shoulders down. And then nice and easy, I'm gonna come onto the palms, come to my knees and shift through to my belly. Inhale, lift up to baby cobra. Maybe it grows a little bit taller. And then exhale, release. Cool, curl the toes under, press up to plank. You got it. Nice, long, smooth, deep breaths here. We can always lower the knees. Really working to spread the shoulder blades left to right and draw that navel up so we're not sinking in the hips. We find the sit bone to heel connection. Head is, in, is involved in the picture here. And then we'll lower the knees down and join our friends here and we're gonna switch to the other side. So this time, I'm gonna send my left toes out long and then I'm gonna hug my left knee and step it up all the way. Now, swing the right toes towards the left side of the mat. So I'm working in right angles here. I have my alignment of my front knee and then I'm gonna open up to my half warrior. So giving the legs a little bit of a break today, my friends, and, and working more on the upper body, I'm gonna find my warrior two here, half warrior. Then I'm really going to connect to my abdominal wall here, keep that integrity through uh, the crown of the head, so this extension here, as I begin to inch my left toes out and find a place to focus on as I send my right fingertips down. Now I can come onto that right heel here, or I can pivot. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the left fingertips down to come up, so I'm plugging into that shoulder blade here as I open up and out. Beautiful. Breathe deep here, careful not to collapse. Create space, so equidistant space between the left earlobe and the left shoulder and the right earlobe and the right shoulder. Breathing deep here. Connecting to your foundation. Inhale in and on an exhale, soften and release. Left fingertips come to the ground and we just walk it back all the way to our low lunge. Take your time, move nice and slow as you transition back. Then we loop the shoulders forward, up and back, let the heart open forward. And then we'll plant the palms and slide the left knee back. This time take a rest, Balasana. Sit bones melt back, fingertips swim behind. We relax the shoulders and take a load off. Now find your breath here, breathe into your back body. Soften through the fingertips, relax your jaw. Hmm. Press into your feet, tuck your chin into your chest, slowly roll up. If this is not a yummy position for you in your knees, you can shift to side saddle here, just coming right onto your bottom for the next thing. <laughs> Sorry, can you tell I, I work with kids or I have a lot of experience with kids? I'm like, come onto your bottom. No disrespect. Inhale, zombie arms up. Really pressing through the center of your palm here. We're gonna draw the fingertips down. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, talk to the hand, really pressing through the base of the palm here. See if you can keep your shoulders relaxed and your heart lifted. And then fingertips down, zombie arms really stretching through the arms, draw the tops of the shoulders down, pinkies down. And then we flip once again, pressing through the base of the palm, spreading the fingertips wide. Find your breath, stick with it. Awesome, then we'll release, shake it off, shake it off and we're gonna come into plank position, okay? So take your time getting there, lots of integrity. <clears throat> we're gonna hold here for three breaths. You totally have this. You can lower the knees, but I know you have this. Lifting, lifting up through the hips, finding that sit bone to heel connection, pressing away from the earth. Don't let the shoulder blades collapse here in the upper back body. See if you can broaden them left to right, and kind of poof air between them, really hollowing up through the upper back body. So avoiding this, yikes. 
One more breath here, you got it. Then send it up and back, downward facing dog. Hallelujah. Bend the knees, pedal it out. And then we'll slowly walk up towards the front edge of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bow. Jumping right back in, we're gonna plant the palms and step or hop the feet back to plank. Slowly lower down, all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift up, cobra, or you can come to up dog. Smile. Exhale, take a rest. Hands come together. We bring the two big toes together. Rest your forehead on your palms and shake your hips a little left to right as your heels open out. So again here, we don't just zen out. We actually check in with the breath, breathing into the back body, feeling your pulse against the earth. Great, press into the tops of the feet. Palms come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, cobra. Smile. Exhale, release. Curl the toes under. Send it up to plank. All right, this time I'm gonna draw my right hand underneath my right shoulder, really bringing it to the center line here. Now, turning onto the right, uh, outer edge of the right foot, I'm gonna stack my hips and begin to open up into side arm balance opening up through the left wing. Now there's plenty of options here. I can bend that left knee and bring the sole of the left foot to the earth. Everyone, lift your hips up. Breathe, open. Everything we've been working up towards in the last couple episodes of videos, really we can integrate into this posture here. Lifting the hips, drawing the shoulders away, spiraling the heart open. We might also keep it stacked here today, or if you want to deepen your practice, you can play with grabbing this big toe, straightening the leg, coming into tree legs, finding your own variation. You can even do some crunches here if you're feeling crazy. So we're working at all different levels and we're challenging ourselves, meeting our edge here today, no matter what, with a smile and a full breath in. And then exhale, release back to center. Great, take a second to send the sit bones back, draw the palms together and up and overhead, relax. Nice work, my friends. Keep breathing deep. And we'll slowly release the arms and we're gonna take it to the other side. I'm gonna flip so I can face you for this one. All right, coming into plank. Left palm now comes to the center line. We stack it right underneath that shoulder as we turn, coming onto the outer edge of that left foot. Now I'm gonna slowly tuck my pelvis, lengthen my tailbone towards my heels, find that sit bone to heel connection and open up here nice and strong. Side arm balance, side plank, breathing deep here, spiraling the tops of the thighs inward, pressing into my heels, finding that sit bone to heel connection, and then bending that right knee if I need to for more support, making sure that I'm working on drawing the hip points up, excuse me, that left hip up, spiraling the left rib cage up towards the sky. Again, you can take any variation you want here, grabbing the right big toes and straightening that leg long, maybe just lifting, doing a little leg lifts or even tree, or if you're feeling crazy, you can do some side crunches. So that's all something to look forward to. We're breathing deep, breathing, breathing, breathing. Meet your edge wherever it is. Maybe you've already met it and you're in child's pose, but keep breathing. And then exhale, we'll release. Same thing, send it back, child's pose. Palms are gonna come up, just give a little wrist relief here as we walk the elbows forward and relax. <sighs> nice work, my friends, super strong, really nice. Keep breathing. We'll slowly release the fingertips down. And we're gonna to come to our bellies once again. <sighs> Palms come underneath the shoulders when you arrive. And once again, we inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, forehead to the mat. 
This time we're going to reach the fingertips down. Inhale in, exhale, locust, lifting the legs, lifting the fingertips. We float, we fly. We don't crunch the back of the neck here, but keep it nice and long. So once you get the hang of this pose, you can draw your chin into your chest and send the gaze down. Feel free to move the limbs, bring it more into your core here by inhaling, reaching the fingertips forward or back, or maybe just bending the knees so you don't have to stay static here in locust position. You can find a little movement and we'll take one more breath here again meeting our edge you can also do a little wrist therapy here rotating the wrists and then release hallelujah once again press into the palms and send it all the way back extended child's pose or balasana ha <sighs> Tuck your chin to your chest. Slowly roll it up. Again, if this is not comfortable for your um, knees, you can just come right onto your sit bones. And we're gonna take a little gentle twist just to ring it out. Right hand comes to the outer edge of the left thigh. Left fingertips come behind. We sit up nice and tall. Inhale in. Exhale, journey gently into your twist. And take it through center and we move to the right. Inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, journey into the twist. Beautiful, slowly coming back to center. I'm going to transition towards Shavasana. If you're, you feel like uh, you're further along in your practice, this would be a great place to open the heels, come into Varasana, and maybe play with, um, I'll just go ahead and show you this really fast, maybe play with walking the palms back, keeping that lift in the heart. If you are, are uh, in a place in your practice where it makes sense to practice coming onto the heels, you might do that, I mean, onto the elbows and then so on and so forth all the way to the flat back. If you are new to the practice, let this be something that you work towards. So you might just take a couple moments in Supta Varasana, Recline the Hero, or you might join me as we gently transition to our backs. So I'm just gonna send the legs out long, stretch, 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 wrists forward as I roll it down, connecting to my core, and then inhale all the way up. Exhale, bending the elbows to cactus arms. We release into the earth. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Eventually making your way to Shavasana. Taking any little movement, twist, happy baby, anything at all along the way to get settled in. And then when you finally arrive, choosing to give yourself permission to just do absolutely nothing for at least three to five breaths. Finding stillness, letting the breath return to its natural rhythm. We relax and we let go. Namaste.